Hello everyone, let's enhance our logic and today we're going to solve this interesting IQ question. So what will the following number be in this numeric series? What is the pattern between all of these number? We have a really long pattern, a really, really long series 1, 8, 9, 64, 25, 216 and we need to find the last one. So right now pause the video and write your answer, write your suggestion in the comment. Right here we have option A, B, C and D. So right now choose one, doesn't matter about your age, write your answer in the comment and it will be really interesting to check it in the end of the video. I swear it will be really interesting. So right now choose one and write your answer in the comments. So let's try to let's try to solve it. What is the pattern between all of these numbers? We have a lot of numbers, but on the first side there is no pattern if we are talking about addition. So we need to add to this one, we need to add 7, we need to add 1 to get this 8, we need to add a huge number to get the 64. So if we are talking about addition and subtraction, there is no like, common pattern between all of these numbers. So we need to find something, something else, something more. So take a look. I see right now that this one can be written as 1 square. So let's do this. Let's write this one as 1 square. Take a look on this 8. It will be really good to write this 8 using 2 because this is like a, an order 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's, let's do this. Let's write this 8 as 2 cube because we know that this 2 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2. So let's write as 2 cube. So this one is 1 square. This second is 2 cube. Let's use the same logic. This 9 let's write with the, with the 3. This 9 can be written as 3 square because 3 times 3 will be equal to 9. So let, take a look. We have Right now we have a really good order. 1, 2, 3 and we have some powers. So it's, it's really good. Let's, let's try to express this 64 using 4. So 4 is 64 is equal to 4 cube because 4 times 4 and times 4 will be 64. So it's really good. So we have 4 cube this is our number. So if we're talking about 25, we, will, we need to have 5 right here, because right here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, we need to create 5. 25 is equal to 5 square, because 5 times 5 equal to 25. It is our number. So as you can see right now, we we can we be able to create like this order, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And take a look, we need to create 6. How can we do this? In, in, of course, if it's possible, if it's not, 216 is equal to 6 cube, because 6 times 6 and times 6 will be equal to 216, because right here we have 36 times 6, it will be our answer. So as you can see, we create an order, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's not hard to say that the last number, the number that we need, starts with 7. But what about the power? Take a look the powers. We will have 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. And it's not hard to see that the last power will be 2, because we have like 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, and we need to write, of course, 2 right here. So the pattern between all of this number, as you can see. So this is a natural order, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And if we're talking about the powers, this is, if this is even number, odd power odd number, even power. So as you can see, even number, odd power. Odd, odd number, even power. So it's not hard to see that the last number will be 7 square, 7 times 7, it will be equal to 49. And this will be our last number. If your answer is the same, it's really good, put thumbs up, I really appreciate it. If your answer is, is different with it, so it's, it's this is not good, but take a look on this explanation. I hope you will understand. If you don't, write your write your answer in a comment. I answer to every question. So our answer is option option B. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing. I really appreciate it and see you in the next videos.